<laughs> and our next guest is no stranger to giving back. He's known as kind of the tech mayor of Chicago. He's a local favorite. You may have actually seen him on the newest CNN show, Chicago Land. So please, let's go ahead and give a warm digital sips welcome to our next guest, Howard Tolman. Yeah. Howard, great to Hi. see you. How are you? How are you? Good, glad um, to be here. I know, I said I feel so lucky because you are always globe trotting around the world. And no, it's an honor to have you here, so I appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. And I was just thinking about the first time I met you was actually <clears> when you were running the Tribeca Flashpoint Academy here in Chicago. You've done so many different things. I was reading up on your bio today. I didn't even realize that you're on President Clinton's one of his committees as sure. well. You're Arts. a producer for a Broadway show. Right. It's like, what haven't you done? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say, but I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about music. One of the things we did not so many trillions of years ago was actually put up uh, the major music sites on the internet. Okay. So Rollingstone.com, uh, Downbeat Jazz, TheSource.com, and a little company called tunes.com which turned a out little to be, company turned out to be very well named. <laughs> just a little yeah. that's really cool that's what I was gonna ask you uh, how because I had heard that music is really near and dear to your heart Absolutely. and I was just interested in how you got into that well I got into it like a million years ago but most recently with respect to digital so we did all the websites for the music industry uh, in the early sort of mid 90s right um, most recently I've become the executive chairman of uh, music dealers, and I know that Eric, uh, who's Eric's going to be here talking with us a little bit later our, on, right? So, who's our CEO? Will be here uh, just a little later. Yeah, um, I'm excited because today everything in the world is moving from analog to digital, mm -hmm. and honestly, digital means video today. About right. three fourths of everything on the internet will be video by 2017. Hey, I love that. That's my yeah, company, exactly Wine right. Channel TV. Wine exactly. Video. So I love it. And all of that's going to need music, which yes. is what's so cool about music dealers being sort of the iTunes for business music. Okay, I got you. I yeah. really like that. And then, but I obviously have to talk about where you are here now at 1871. In case people aren't familiar with 1871, can you tell them a little bit about it and what makes it so unique? Sure. We have about uh, 250 businesses right now upstairs on the 12th floor, about a, what will be pretty soon 100,000 square feet. Oh. And uh, all the universities are there, about uh, eight venture funds, our own startup uh, school, our own incubator, our own oh. accelerator. And uh, we're creating jobs and we're creating new businesses. And frankly, one of the interesting things about it is small companies don't create jobs, new companies create jobs. I like so, that. Yeah, so, so that's what we're doing. That's a great point, I really like that. I wanna know, since you've been in the industry for so long, what do you see as the future for music and technology specifically? Well, I think you know everybody wants uh, music. Uh, right. It's a very personal, it's a very emotional thing. I think that brands want to uh, develop their own identity, and one of the things they do, they do a lot of art around their identities, mm -hmm. but they don't have a sonic identity. So one of the great yeah. things, and Eric can certainly talk about this, is how brands create uh, a music identity to promote and to engage consumers. So that's where technology is going. We're also going to have an unbelievable amount of access to music in everything we do, and that's going to be significant too. That's fantastic. And so obviously, though, today we're combining wine into with music and technology. I want to know your take on that. So I'll tell you my honest opinion. How I started to think of it was when I attended Lollapalooza. I thought it was sure. such a great pairing, the music with the great, you know, wines. I thought it just clicked. So in my long and sordid career, um, I was also the president of Kendall College, and so oh, wine, yeah. Yeah. wine was a huge part of what we did. I mean, it's a culinary school, right. and so to do all the pairings, to do everything around wine was really important. In all honesty, what I did was create the platform, much like 1871, right. and the chefs were actually responsible for this stuff, so they knew far more than I did. But um, there too, you know, we were watching the changes in how food was prepared, okay. and technology was changing every industry. So it's exciting to be a part of the digital revolution, and it's just going to get more exciting as we go forward. And I'm just curious. I mean, you've done so many wonderful things. What what keeps you motivated? Like, what gets you up out of bed in the morning? Uh, you know, the greatest luxury that you can have is probably not about cars or money. It's about the opportunity every day to get up and be mm -hmm. excited about what you're doing. And that's really still the case. I mean, even uh, today, every single day, we do different exciting things. Today, we had five companies from Israel. Later oh. in the week, we'll have companies from uh, Turkey. And so the idea of being exposed to all kinds of young people who are excited about making change is really what 
keeps me up. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Anna. It was, sure. uh, it was a pleasure to have you here, and I uh, look forward to seeing you back upstairs at 1871. Great, great. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. I appreciate it.